Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age of Origins. Damn it. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had a uh, we had a couple missions that apparently I didn't finish before I left the Kokari Wilds. So, um, what I need to do is actually finish those things. Uh, for the life of me, though, I can't figure out where I'm supposed to finish that. Um, consult the note, a letter to Jogby for more information. And you found the last will and testament of someone named Rigby. And take the cash to Jeddah and Redcliffe. Okay. I guess that should lead me to where it is. I presume. I don't know. Doesn't tell me much else other than do that. Um, this is downloadable content. I haven't gotten to this yet. I guess I might have gotten the cash and I might need to take it to Jeddah. I don't know. Um, completed mischief in the larder. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll complete these then. I was told Oh, that was, <laughs> that was me pressing the B button, which uh, I shouldn't have pressed. I was told, there we go, that, uh, well, I was, wasn't rather told, the game really told me, um, that there were missions that I still haven't completed yet, and I thought I did. Apparently, I didn't. Alright, let's go back to Ostagar. So I guess I'll just continue on with the thing, and uh, here's hoping it won't <laughs> it won't lock me out of those quests. Duncan. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? More or less. Not that it was easy, but yes. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Uh, maybe you should tell us, maybe we should tell you about Morgan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they Hello. wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were Possible. once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. I mean, will you tell us what the ritual is about now before we start doing it? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. Uh, is that why the joining is so secret? If only such secrecy were unnecessary and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alrighty. Alistair, take them to the old temple. I guess we go to do the joining now. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Oh yeah. Blubbering again. Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Okay. <laughs> Stop yammering, you're giving me a headache. Well, I mean, I did have a headache earlier. Uh, no. Calm down, there's nothing we can do about it now. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Oh, no. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Why did you... Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Wow. 
Davith is uh, very much the selfless type from the sound of it. That's fair enough. But we don't know that, Davith. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight. Jory's gonna die. He stood on the verge of annihilation. So That's what I'm getting out of this. The first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. Apparently. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. All right. That... That explains a lot. No wonder you're able to pull off the magical feats that you actually do. Well, magical. Uh, amazing, rather. Uh, those who survive. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair. If you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. That's why we needed all that blood. Yeah, Davith seems like he would be the most willing to go through with this to actually help out. I really hope he survives it. Oh! Forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known. There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. Jory. Come on. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint um, for the greater good. Okay, um... From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Oh, I really hope I don't die! That'd be a really short game. Roll credits! Whoa! Big old dragon. Very sick looking dragon. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. Thank you. How do you feel? I am. Um, <laughs> Nothing you said prepared me for that. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can. I mean, I saw a dragon. To come. Is that? Before I forget, there is one last special? part to your joining. Okay. You take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, 
I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. <laughs> what kind of meeting? The king is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Probably because I used to be a nobleman. As soon as you're able. Not only that, I'm now a Grey Warden. Okay, now I leveled up. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I feel bad for Davith, man. He was the most willing to actually do this. I mean, despite the womanizer bullshit, I would have probably been okay with having him by my side. Because, I mean, at least he knew... <laughs> at least he knew what we were up against. And what it took to do it. Jory just kind of cowered it out and... I figured at this point... I mean, I guess it makes sense that they had to kill him because the entire process has to be kept secret. Otherwise, no one would join. But still, that is... It's kind of fucked, man. I, I had a feeling as soon as they mentioned, oh, I have a wife and a kid on the way. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're, you're fucking dead. That is... That is... Very much a writing trope that, uh, <laughs> I'll admit I'm kind of guilty of myself, <laughs> but still, um, it, it, it has to convey a connection that there's something outside of what they're doing, uh, that they, that it makes it all the more tragic. It's a, it is admittedly a very contrived trope but i understand why it's used it doesn't mean i like it and i try to avoid that but sometimes there's just <laughs> it's just it's very it's a very easy to fall into without really trying <laughs> Uh, you, you, you all know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm like three days from retirement. I'll, I'll be finally sick of this shit. Ugh. Killed in the line of duty. Or, yeah, I got a girl at home. When we get home, I'm going to ask her to marry me. Pfft, dead. That's, that's, that's exactly the trope. It is a trope that is well documented and obvious when you see it. But... It is, it is hard to avoid sometimes. <sighs> that's why I, that's why I kind of felt that Davith's de death felt a little more harder, you know? Because he was actually willing to go and join you to do the thing. Like, fucking, yeah, let's do it. I know what, it, I, I need to know what it takes and then I can help you guys. And then Jory is just like slowly cowarding out of it. It's like, I don't know, man. Seems kind of sketch, which it was. But it's like, I, I, I got things I, I have in my life that I can't, yeah, you know, that sort of thing. <sighs> anyway, uh, enough of that. I'm going to do the level up. Uh, okay. Whoa. I got four attributes out of that. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, I can add one point to each and those two. Oh, I got two talents as well. Hells to the... Uh, um, I guess in that case, I should probably go for the dual weapon finesse passive. Because that would actually get me a little extra defense and attack. Dual weapon expert. Bonus to critical chance as well as a possibility with each hit to inflict bleeding lacerations that continue to damage a target for a time. 
I would need to go very hard into dexterity to be able to get that. I mean, I'm already at 20, and I'd have to be at level 9 for that. I'm at level 4. So, I mean, it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible to reach that. I'd have to go very hard into dexterity, and at a certain point, I'm going to have to pull back on the strength to push dexterity further. But, yeah, jeez. Okay, um, repost. Hmm. That seems like a good thing to go into, but... I do like... Maybe adding dex... Uh, rather, the uh, precise striking to it. Okay, that's a sustained that adds 5%. And the upkeep is 40, as opposed to this one being 50. That would take up 90%. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming the upkeep is how much stamina drain on your bar is taken. Uh, how many points is taken off the bar. Uh... Huh. Maybe I should go for a uh, activated. Uh, let's go for the repost. Why not? The repost, rather. Um, and let's level up Piff, who apparently has been leveling up while I've been doing my thing. Although he's only at level 3. Oh, he loves me. He's a big doofy doggo. Okay, um... Let's up his strength a bit. Uh, constitution. Yeah, one more. There we go. Uh, let's go for dog things. Because that makes sense. Um... Oh, and he's a warrior too. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. That works. Oh, he only gets the one level up. Oh. No beneficial effects. Oh, boy. Okay. Wait, the what the? Worn studded braid. What? I get all... Wait a second. I got all of their armor and weapons. What? Oh, that's a little... That's a little dark. It's a little... It's a little fucked there. Huh. Okay. Well. Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess that keeps you from, uh accidentally losing some of your uh some of your cool stuff but i mean jeez ah uh, chainmail gray iron huh? uh compare it to my current It gives me a little more armor and a little more fatigue. I guess it would be only only right. It feels it feels real weird to be wearing <laughs> wearing the armor from uh, what used to be one of the other recruits, one of my buddies. Now he's a, he's a not, he's not very, uh, alive anymore. Ooh. Ooh. Yeesh. Okay, um, should probably, probably put a, a certain type of arrow on with that bow, now that I think about it. 
Okay. One tactic slot acquired, really? Okay, well. Swap back to my dual weapon thing. And I guess we'll uh, go look at the uh, tactics. There we go. Or was that for the dog? It might be for the dog, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, that's for the dog. <laughs> okay. Um, enemy. Uh, any. Uh, what is this? I forget what the ability growl is. Um, attack. And then enemy, what was the other thing? It was like... Over or at 50%, and then it was growl, I think. I'm still not sure what that ability does. I guess I'll find out in a second when I go to look. <laughs> Just so I know. Um, talents. Um, Bari growls so fearsomely that its opponent suffers a penalty to defense unless it passes a mental resistance check. That's what it's for. So after 50%, it loses its defense a bit. That's what that's for. Okay. The ordeals of the road have increased the Mabari's tolerance for the elements. It gains bonuses to fire, cold, and electricity resistance. Fair enough. All right, let's go do the thing. Now that we've done the joining. Now, the big old gray warden dude. Okay. Let's go talk to the king. The decision is final. I will stand by the gray wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kalen. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did Pulling not to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, your majesty. And this is the young lord from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Sure. Uh, I mean, thank you, your majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Yeah. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Unfortunately, Kate. I'm the only one. Tend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Okay. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. I mean, I won't be fighting in the battle? We need the beacon. Without it, Logain's men won't know when to charge. Okay, you see? that's fair. Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, True. you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, your majesty. Your majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we circle will of not Major... trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the darkspawn. Enough! This plan will okay, suffice. Okay, so, Grey typical Wardens bickering. Will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. Glorious moment for us all. Why does Logain look a little sinister there? You heard the plan. Yeah, I did. Doesn't mean I like it. And ensure the beacon is lit. What? 
I won't be in the battle. This yeah, I just said that too. Personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch just in case, right? Pretty much. Uh, where is this Tower of Ishal exactly? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You okay. need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. Okay. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. Uh, when do we light the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. So Alistair you'll be with Alistair. Or rather, you'll be with Kaelin. Alistair's right next to me. My brain is broken. That's what that is. Um, I mean, can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Okay. What if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. <laughs> if it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Uh, but I want to be heroic. Uh, okay. How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Oh, shit. Are we in any danger? Of course. Even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Okay. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. All right. Then I know what I have to do. I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Okay. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. He. I thought the maker was she. Maybe I'm getting that confused. Anyway, apparently Alistair also has a level up, so we'll go do that. Watch my indecisiveness times two. <laughs> per the usual. Uh, no beneficial effects for now. Specialization points. Oh, it, he went into Templar, so that explains that. Okay, cool. Uh, he is at level 5. I, um... Not yet unlocked. Hmm. Huh. Maybe that's for me later. Uh... Add more to willpower and constitution. There we go. Um... Upkeep is 35. I just strike. Um, is, he has a sustained with shield cover. Shield tactics, huh? Oh, and he, need, he needs dexterity to uh, use the shield. Oh, that explains a bit. Okay. So you can't just Ignore dexterity when you uh, start going into shields either. You still kind of need some of it. He only needs 20 dexterity, but still something he requires. Okay. Um, I kind of want him to take the role of tank a little bit, but at the same time, I have a feeling he's a little too squishy for it right now because uh, his constitution isn't that high. Uh. I'll go with that for now. Okay. And then I'll go to his tactics. Okay, cool. He is already preset to Defender. Cool. Good. Alright, so I'm going to turn mine on. I'm going to turn his on. And then that. Okay, cool. And we're good. Alright, cool. Cool shit. Um, anything special I need to worry about? Um, something over there, I guess. Okay. Guess I gotta just walk over there. Across the bridge to then join the fighting. Eventually. Ah, uh, cutscene. All right.
Oh. Oh my, that's a lot of soldiers. It's a hell of a helmet some of these guys are wearing. I'm assuming it's there because they don't want to model every single face. And I can't really blame them for that shortcut. Oh, they are prepared for a hell of a fight. The plan they got will everyone. Work, Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. That's what you think. I have a feeling it's not going to go that smoothly. Oh. Oh my. Look at that. There are so many of them. Ugh. You're an ugly little fuck, aren't you? God, they're all ugly when you get real up close to them. That's one of the alphas that I took out. For the herlocks. God, they're ugly. Don't you piss your pants now, guy. Well, the fight begins. This is actually more or less impressive that they managed to model all of this. This is probably very intensive work, getting all of that to look the way it did. Wait for it. Whoa! And the doggies go. Oh god, some of these some of these doggers are not gonna Oh no! Ooh. Ooh, that was a shot I didn't want to see. Alright, they're going in. This is a really impressive really impressive fight scene given you know how resource intensive it must have been to get all that put together let's cross the bridge <laughs> saving content cutting him off okay well i guess we're gonna do that but uh for now we gotta end this episode we're gonna leave it at the cliffhanger we're gonna watch how this fight turns out but Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And we are getting right into the thick of it after the joining ceremony where we lost uh, two of the newest recruits uh, along with me. Uh, but I'm here. So that means things are going to go good, right? Right? For you.